Thanks for checking back in for a little tea tree time. Obviously, this week, we're gonna be talking Australian Open. Let's start with the men. A few surprising early boots out of the tournament. Our former world number one, Novak Djokovic, was told to take a hike in only the second round by Dennis Istomin. It is strange to be reporting this about Djokovic, of all people. Huh? Big boy John Eisner was also cast away in the second round by Misha Zrev. Zrev, the older brother of rising star Alexander Zrev, demonstrated a dramatic career comeback when he then toppled world number one Andy Murray in the fourth round. Golf club for you, mister. John McEnroe's mini-me, Nick Kyrgios, got his lips zipped by Andrea Seppi in the second round. Former US Open champion Marin Cilic was shut down by an impressive Dan Evans, who then went on to also take out local Bernard Tomic in the third round. Ranked in the 700s only a couple of years ago, Britain's 26-year-old up-and-coming phenom is now destined for the top 50. Excellent! Roger Federer really driving home that, yes, people, he is still here, took out young Japanese superstar Kei Nishikori in a brutal five-set face-off in the fourth round, and then dominant Walrinka in another five-set battle royale in the semis to represent the oldest man to reach a Grand Slam final since 1974. And tenacious Nadal then cruised past Ranic in the quarters, put a ferocious front against Dimitrov in the semis, and set an epic Nadal versus Fed final. Now, some early exits on the women's side. Simona Halep was booted nice and early by Shelby Rogers in the very first round of the tournament. Ah! Eek, see ya. Australia native Sam Stozier was also told to, uh, you know, just turn around and head back home to her house in the first round by Heather Watson. Olympic gold medal winner Monica Puig didn't fare quite as well this tournament as she was downed by Mona Barthol also in the second round. And Agnieszka Radwanska bowed out without too much of a fight in the second round to Mirana Lucic Veroni. Serena Williams versus rising British star Johanna Conta was a much anticipated matchup in the semifinals, but the young Conta simply couldn't withstand the force that is Serena Williams. Our previous world number one, Angelique Kerber, was crushed in the fourth round by strong American hopeful Coco Vandeweghe, who then went on to also top Garbine Muguruza in the quarterfinals. She then faced Venus Williams in the semis, and Venus has not reached these heights at the Aussie Open since 2003. It took her three sets, but ultimately, Venus went on to set up a sister-sister duel in the finals. Quite honestly, the Australian Open couldn't have dreamed of a better final on both sides. Ticket sales boomed, and the hype and energy around these matches infiltrated the world. Even for those that don't follow tennis, I mean, you have to be living not under a rock, but literally under Mount Everest to not know these four names. Few could have foreseen this final when the Australian Open began. This was Federer's first official tournament after a long break because of knee problems in 2016, and Nadal ended last season early as well after an injury to his left wrist. The match inciting nostalgia for the days when Federer and Nadal summit meetings were a staple also made this match especially distinct because this could perhaps be the last slam final we see these two meet in. In his own words, I mean, this is all about knowing that I only have so much tennis left in me, quoted Federer. Well, at least he no longer needs to worry if there was an 18th grand slam left in him. Federer for the win. And with this tournament, not only did Serena quickly reclaim her world number one title from Angelique Kerber, but she also finally surpassed Steffi Graf's open era record of Grand Slam singles titles. Congrats, Serena, on number 23. Australia's Margaret Court, with 24, is now the only player still ahead of Serena in terms of Grand Slam singles titles. But we've got a whole year of slams ahead of us, and it doesn't really seem like 
Serena's gonna go down anytime soon. This women's final was the 28th installment of the sisters on court rivalry, which began also at the Australian Open back in 1998. Welcome back to the top, Queen Serena.